What's shaking? My name's Cam. Welcome back to another video. I know, first thing you're thinking is, wow, I'm up and moving today. And yeah, I am. Let me just get this set up right here. Okay, I know the lighting is a bit odd. It's a, it's a bit dark and blue, so forgive me. This is going to look like a bit of an art house film for a little bit. It is a beautiful, rainy day today, which I absolutely love. We don't really get a whole lot of them um, where I live, so I'm taking advantage of it, and I don't really want to turn on the light and you know it's just it's a chill mood okay that's how I want to keep it right now basically the reason I'm out of my uh, dungeon if you want to call it that today is in the hopes of making it less of a dungeon I am extremely fortunate enough to in this new house that I'm living in uh, have a separate space for me to do my writing and my filming that kind of stuff in it's basically an office I, I call it my writing office uh, which is something I've never had before in the past I've pretty much had to do all of my writing in my bedroom which isn't a big deal lots of people do it that way um, but it, it was just always a little bit I'm not exactly sure how to put it but I'm sure people watching this video can relate when you spend so much time doing a hobby in your bedroom let's say you spend all day writing <clears throat> or something like that. You spend all day writing in your bedroom and then you move two meters to the right to go to bed and then you wake up and you do it all again. It can really feel like you're just cut off from the rest of the world, like you're really isolated and trapped even sometimes. That's just how it's felt for me for quite a long time, especially considering now with the pandemic I'm also working from home. So for quite a while I was doing my full-time job, my main hobby, um, and sleeping which takes up the rest of my day all within one room it was really bad and it actually was getting uh to me quite a bit it was making me feel really really miserable um it was a big deal so i'm really happy that now in the home i'm living in i get to have a separate space for that i mean i'm still technically you know in a little room where i'm spending most of my other time but at the very least it's like its own space i get to make it its own thing you know with that said um, I've been using my little writing office for maybe a couple of months now and the way I set it up originally I thought was fine but as you're about to see I'm still kind of cramped into a little corner the desk I'm using there was actually an L desk originally but I took off the end because it just didn't fit very well it, di it just didn't work so I made it into its own little desk and that's what I've been using with two monitors and then like a bookcase next to me as well and it, it's just felt very very cramped i'm cramped into the corner and not only that but the desk itself is actually quite narrow so the keyboard and the mouse are you know right there in front of me and it feels like the monitors were way too close um i, I just didn't have enough space between me and the monitors so i knew i needed to fix this up and make it actually feel bigger make it feel more spacious and that starts with getting a bigger desk which i did i got a new tattoo recently as well which i think is pretty cool I can't really show you it properly yet because it's still wrapped up in the in the cling wrap stuff and there's a lot of ink under there so it just looks like a big dark blotch at the moment. But I'm excited to show you what it looks like in the end. Uh, I won't even tell you what it is just yet. So my goal was to get a bigger desk first and foremost, a bigger and a wider desk so that I had more space, my monitors weren't cramping me into a corner, but I also didn't want to spend you know, a ton of money because that's the thing with desks. When you're looking for quality, the price can end up going hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Uh, I think this spot might be a bit too dark. What I ended up finding was this desk from Ikea called a Linman, and it was really cheap. So I was concerned, first of all. Uh, I was going to check it out because it was cheap, but I was concerned. I was like, it's probably not going to be able to support the weight of two monitors. It'll just break. And I looked into it, and I started getting even more concerned because the thing with the Linman is, the reason it's so cheap is because the inside of it is what's called a honeycomb structure, uh, basically of cardboard. And obviously the first thing you're thinking is a cardboard desk. That's not going to work. But the thing with the honeycomb structure is that it is incredibly strong. I must have watched like 20 videos reviewing Linman desks just trying to ascertain whether this will work or not. I ended up buying it just to see how it would go. So I have it here now and the plan is to put it together put it in the office and then try and rearrange things in there, make it a bit more, uh, you know, open space, a bit more of a relaxing and less cramped environment. Before I can make the desk though, I have to empty the writing office that I have now and 
that's going to be a pain in the ass. The main thing I hate most about doing stuff like this is having to uh, unplug all of the computer stuff and take all of that apart and then put it back together again. Especially because at the moment, my cable management is so garbage, there's just cables and wires everywhere. But then that's also a plus because that means I get to make it better when I put the office back together again. Anyway, if I don't do it now, I'm probably never going to do it, so may as well get started. So we have a bit of a problem already, and this is going to be a massive pain in the ass. Unfortunately, the power drill's batteries aren't charging for whatever stupid reason. So, we're going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I think I'm all done, and the rain is unfortunately dying down now as well. There's a few other small things I want to do just to make it a bit more of a writer's office, but um, for the time being, it's a lot more spacious, it looks a lot better, and I'm excited to actually be able to move side to side now <laughs> without bumping into shit. I'm, I'm excited. It looks a lot better, and you would not believe how big the desk is as well. The old desk was about a meter long and about 50 centimeters or half a meter wide. The new one is 150 um, centimeters long or 1.5 meters long and I think 70 centimeters wide. So it's a lot bigger. But the most important thing as I mentioned before was making sure it'll actually be able to hold the weight. Remember it's just cardboard inside. So after putting it together I decided to you know put some weight on it. I really really like leaned heavy into it. I even sat on it a little bit and from everything I could tell, it held up pretty damn well. See, the issue with the monitors is that they are on arms. It's just one pole that goes up to two arms that holds the monitors. So it's all coming into one central point of weight, and that's the issue. That's why I was concerned. But I don't see any uh, saggage. I don't see anything. There's, like, no creaks or anything when I put it on there. It seems fine uh, for all intents and purposes. So for what was, like, a $70 desk in Australian dollars, it um, worked out pretty damn well and it looks nice. I guess now I'll show you a before and after of the office uh, beforehand. Really cramped, uh, you know, no space to really do anything. I could barely turn around to the aftermath, which is a huge desk, plenty of room for, you know, putting some notepads on there, writing while I work. Having my work laptop on there as well is a big plus. The monitors are far away enough that it actually feels comfortable now. It doesn't feel like I've got you know, the screen's right up in my face. If you're wondering about the painting as well, uh, that was me. I, I know I'm not, I'm not great, but uh, I tried to paint the Eye of Sauron because I thought that would be a cool thing for the, for the office. And it, it, I know, it's not the best, just give me a break. But as you can see, it's a lot better. I think I'm going to be able to be a lot more effective in there. I think I'm going to be able to get a ton more writing done. Again, sorry about the mood lighting in this video. I just wanted to enjoy the kind of you know, calm and coolness of a rainy day because we, we rarely get it. I didn't really want to spend the whole day with the lights on, you know. I'm going to go hang out with the animals for a bit. Let me know about your writing space. Let me know what works for you. I know a lot of people uh, just take their laptop and just work around the house, like in the living room, that kind of stuff. For me personally, I feel like I need kind of like a base of operations. But um, yeah, let me know. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Catch ya.